I will not impose any tax increase on people making less than $400,000. But it's time for corporate America and the wealthiest 1% of Americans to just begin to pay their fair share. Just their fair share. A lot of companies also evade taxes through tax havens in Switzerland and Bermuda and the Cayman Islands. And they benefit from tax loopholes and deductions for offshoring jobs and shifting profits overseas. It's not right. We're going to reform corporate taxes so they pay their fair share and help pay for the public investments their businesses will benefit from as well. I'm not looking to punish anybody. But I will not add a tax burden, additional tax burden, to the middle class in this country. They're already paying enough. I believe what I propose is fair. And we won't ignore what our intelligence agencies have determined to be the most lethal terrorist threat to the homeland today. White supremacy is terrorism. We're not going to ignore that either. My fellow Americans, look, we have to come together to heal the soul of this nation. It was nearly a year ago before her father's funeral when I spoke with Gianna Floyd, George Floyd's young daughter. She's a little tight, so I was kneeling down to talk to her so I could look her in the eye. She looked at me, she said, my daddy changed the world. Well, after the conviction of George Floyd's murderer, we can see how right she was if, if we have the courage to act as a Congress. We've all seen the knee of injustice on the neck of black Americans. Now's our opportunity to make some real progress. We need to work together to find a consensus. But let's get it done next month, by the first anniversary of George Floyd's death. 